Good Takers, welcome back to the first take. And uh, we have ourselves a new Honest trailer of Screen Junkie Boys. We're at it again with Star Wars coming out, The Force Awakens coming out this week. Tonight, midnight, here in the UK. Hopefully I have my review up tomorrow. Oh, hopefully nothing happens. No car crashes on the way to the cinema. Just, oh, we gotta watch this, we gotta watch this. Even if the car crashes, I'm gonna crawl to that cinema and make sure I see this film, man. Seriously. Hope I'm not jinxing myself by saying that. <laughs> but shout out to uh, Robert D. Jong who gave me a heads up that this was out. Their new honest trailer for Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. Mm. So let's see what shit they can poke out of this one. Ain't like there ain't plenty. From Disney's bitter ex-boyfriend comes the finale of the saga so bad. This ridiculous, overacted, disappointing mess is known as the good one. It is. Oh, that was, oh. Star Wars Revenge of the Sith. Return to a time long ago when there was still hope that the prequels could stick the landing with a film that starts out semi-promising. This is where the fun begins. Then falls flat on its stupid face. Watch Star Wars finish its turn to the dark side as everything you've grown to hate returns. Midi chlorians Young things. Come to go. And cringe as Anakin Skywalker completes his journey from annoying kid to obnoxious teenager to insufferable Jedi Knight in a performance so robotic, his body finally catches up to his acting. <laughs> Although to be fair, no one can make this dreck sound natural. Love won't save you, Padme. Only my new powers can do that. Natalie Portman is back, <laughs> and she's just kind of there. Weep as this once Poor proud Natalie. queen, senator, and warrior spends the whole movie barefoot and pregnant. Anna, I want to have our baby back home on Naboo. I can go early and fix up the baby's room. And finally witness what the whole trilogy has been building to, Anakin Skywalker becoming... Darth Vader, watch the greatest movie villain of all time turn evil because he's passed up for a promotion. We do not grant you the rank of master. Has a bad dream about his secret wife. Commits Jedi side when an old man gives him a super vague promise about cheating death. Then gets burned to a crisp because his teacher is standing on a hill. It's over, Anakin! <laughs> I have the high ground! So, Darth Vader is a whiny, dumb, easy-to-manipulate lapdog oh. who got his suit because he couldn't quite jump high enough. Mystery solved. Thanks for clearing that up, George. Experience the best Star Wars prequel by default, simply because yes. something occasionally happens. Even if that something is a lizard chasing a robot on a unicycle. But don't worry, fans of sitting and talking, because every time things start to get interesting, George Lucas gives us some of the sittiest, talkiest scenes in the trilogy, <sighs> featuring council meetings, the capture of General Grievous will end this war, therapy sessions, close to you, yes, commutes, with all due respect, Master, is he not the chosen one? Weird bubble shows. I can't lie. And just staring out of the window. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. You forget these things, man. All slow. <sighs> building up to the most obvious reveal of all time. That the evil Sith Lord is the sinister old guy who talks exactly like the evil Sith Lord. <gasps> Gasp! Not the guy who does four evil head turns in one conversation. And the Jedi don't to create life from dying. <laughs> Not from a Jedi. What a twist! Oh, After two pointless wheel spinning movies, watch a finale where Anakin goes from peaceful Jedi to child murdering maniac in less than 10 minutes. It's not the Jedi way. You must live! There are too many of them. What are we going to do? Uh. Followed by 20 minutes of George Lucas jamming everyone into their new hope starting positions. Even if it ruins the franchise continuity. Like, how did Leia remember her mom's face? She was. Very beautiful. Why didn't Obi-Wan remember Leia? That boy is our last hope. No. 
There is a doctor. How did Owen and Baru age 40 years wow. in 20 years? Wow. Why does all the galaxy's technology look like it got worse? And how can we ever take Darth Vader seriously wow. again after we've seen this? No is right. <gasps> Starring the following proof that more does not equal better. One ham-handed yeah. cameo. Goodbye, Chewbacca. Two disposable CGI armies. Two cyborgs with breathing problems. Yeah. Four lightsabers at the same time. Yeah. Four unnecessary CGI flippy jumps. Yeah. Eight severed limbs. <sighs> About 17 things R2-D2 couldn't do in the original. And this thousands is of highly trained Jedi Knights going down like total punks. Seriously? You can cut through droids and clones like tissue paper and that's how you go out? That's, that's pathetic, man. Star Wars, Episode 111, God. The Force Awakens. Huh? You think the movie was bad? Wait until you see what they cut out. It's broken. Can you understand what he's saying? I'm pretty sure that beep is down. Oh, yes, 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 you're right. Beep is up. I haven't seen that. Be sure to subscribe. I've never seen that scene. Trailers. Hey, screen jump. Dude, man, if Force Awakens can start strong with this new trilogy and all is forgiven, like, I can... It's mad because I really did leave the cinema after seeing Revenge of the Sith. It's like, you know, that one wasn't too bad compared to the last ones I saw. I guess it's denial, it's like being an abusive partner in a bad relationship. You just, just tend to just focus on the good stuff and just ignore the bad. Like, it wasn't that bad. He didn't hurt me that bad. He's really a good person. No surprises there, obviously, man. You can't really poke holes in it. It looked pretty. I guess that's one good thing you can say about it, but... There's nothing really that can be said that hasn't been said a hundred times about the prequels, man. They happened. Some love them, some hate them. A bit more hating, but there are quite a few of you that love them for mainly for nostalgia reasons, but you know, that's all fine and good. Regardless, it's all relevant now. We've got a new beginning starting tonight at midnight. Oh, yeah, the new beginning. Force Awakens, who ain't that? Oh, I don't even want to talk about it. I don't want to get myself too high for it. I'm trying to not think about it. I'm trying to keep myself occupied. Watching the honest trade about Star Wars probably wasn't a good idea. In that respect, but I'm trying to keep myself distracted so I can just go into it without too high expectations. It's gonna be amazing, you know it. Oh god. But Robert Dijon, thank you for that one, man. Yeah, if you like the video, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. I made a reason this has been my first take to Honest Trailer. Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. Uh-uh.